we're a little rusty, frankly. You know, after um, having the last three days without a game, I, I, I think it's been a, a, a tough offensive night. So thank you. Mellow ball with the finger all got it to fall. Mark, I've always been curious about a three-day break, kind of right? Because you, you utilize that time by getting team, agree with the land, teamwork, and also individual work. Golden State hadn't played since Saturday night. Coming off that win in Oklahoma City and Bridges continues to flex tonight. Hey, right. Three days off. That's two days of two hour, two and a half hour practice. Teams don't practice that much. Lead is just 10. Swing it around, weak side. Hayward makes it a seven point game. And here come the Hornets a little bit, extending their. Martin on the pro. Finds Washington one more. Rozier open three. And they got the three in the process. Here's Curry. Started by Martin. Now ball switches on to him. Float game off glass. Signature Steph Curry. And with the luck. Plays with a certain kind of uh, audacity. Impulsive. Yes. Dribble. That's first team all drip right there. <laughs> Leak Fitz got to be all over that. Look at that. <laughs> I think he can. Oh. Ginobili has Porter on down the shot. Popovich would give up. And you're going to be reckless and careless at times. And in the part of growing into Curry with a nice cut on the ball. Put Cody Martin to sleep and got the layup. He got it and won. Cody Martin. Curry launches. Got it. Just bully ball. Got it. It only takes a moment for Payton, who limped off the floor just a few minutes ago. Gave it right to Bridges. Bounce pass to Hayward for the layup. And it's an eight-point game. Up and down they go. Will not return, suffering a hyperextended elbow, we're told. Out of the timeout, let's see where the Warriors run. Green trying to post up on Martin. Instead, it's Wiggins on the drive. Missed the layup. And had a couple cracks at it and couldn't convert. Rozier lost his balance and fell. He was still eight. Curry with the left. Bombs it up. Hayden finished it off. Oh, nice little mixtape move. Wow. Was that a pass mark? The yeah, Hornets wanted to be goaltending. Felt like Steph Curry shot attempt was going to hit the rim. How about the play of Gary Payton a second? Love his energy tonight at both ends. Ball with a nice reverse layup. Melo Ball in 30 minutes has 14 points. Good assists. Higgins posting up ball. Double team him. Green kicks it to the corner. One more. Poole, that's the right guy, but the wrong result. This time down. Lead is eight. Inside, Hayward was posting up on Poole and draws the foul. It's the 14th foul against the Warriors, so. Charlotte will shoot on the next one. Meanwhile, Charlotte has just two team fouls. Peyton trying to stick ball here. Hayward on the Iverson cut. Draws the foul. And he'll get a pair of foul shots. So Gordon Hayward had the chance to make this a six-point basketball game. Good bounce back night for him with 21 points on 8 of 14 from the field. He's knocked down a couple of threes as well. They were coming off that season low six points. And unlike the previous game, he appears to be in the closing unit in this one. As we take a look at the upcoming national TV schedule tomorrow, on NBA TV, Boston, Miami, then Houston, Phoenix at 7.30 and 10, respectively. Tuesday on TNT, it's the Bucks Sixers, followed by the Blazers and the Clippers. For more on these games, please go to NBA.com or visit the NBA app. And speaking of Portland, I love what Damian Lillard said in wake of his early season struggles. He said, this is the type of situation that allows you to show your true character. 
and he's embracing the challenge, Mark. Well, that's true. That's absolutely true. Dealing with adversity and how you respond individually and collectively will tell a lot about a team. One of the best leaders in the NBA. Six point ball game. Here's Ball. Hayward working from the elbow drives on Wiggins. Good defense by Wiggins. And Hayward commits the foul. Last year, Andrew Wiggins was a big piece for this squad defensively, Mark. And he shows his defensive prowess again. Well, does a good job staying in front of Gordon Haywood, being disciplined, and jumping when he jumps. He's going to have to be you know, more aggressive offensively, also. They're going to need him to score, especially in the absence of Clay Thompson. Right now, they're strictly going high screen and roll with Gary Payne in the second, trying to get the mellow on the step curve. Raymond kicks it in the corner. He must have hurt you, Mark Jackson. Wiggins with a little smile, getting involved offensively, his third field goal tonight. He's got 12. Ball trying to give a little work to Draymond Green. Great contest to force the miss. Hurry across midcourt. Threats to pull. Whips it cross court. One more to pool. Rozier with a nice closeout. Pool hits Curry for the 